The fistula test is one of the important tests to assess the vestibular functions of the ear. The basis of this test is to induce nystagmus by producing pressure changes in the external ear which are then transmitted to the labyrinth. So here will be the external ear and here inside the inner ear will be the labyrinth. The pressure changes are induced here which goes and transmit into the labyrinth and the positivity and the negativity of this test indicates the vestibular functions. Remember, stimulation of the labyrinth induces nystagmus and vertigo. So this test is performed by applying the pressure on the tragus of the ear and in the ear a sigil speculum is inserted. So sigil speculum will be somewhat like this. It will be inserted into the external ear or the pressure will be exerted on the tragus of ear. Either way we can do the fistula test. The normal fistula test is negative. The true negative fistula test indicates normal fistula test. Because the pressure changes in the EAC, that is the external auditory canal, cannot transmit into the vestibule or the labyrinth. This fistula test becomes positive in these following cases. When there is the erosion of the horizontal semicircular canal in the cases of the cholecystoma or when there is a surgically created window in the horizontal canal or the fenestration operation which we will learn in the upcoming videos. In cases of abnormal opening in the oval window, that is the post-tepidectomy fistula and if there is an abnormal opening in the round window, that is in cases of rupture of round window. So in all these cases, there will be connection from the external auditory canal into the inner ear. That is why the fistula test comes positive. If the fistula test comes positive, it leads to causation of nystagmus and vertigo. And you should remember, a positive fistula test also implies that the labyrinth is still functioning. And the fistula test is absent in case of dead labyrinth or when the labyrinth is not at all functioning. The fistula test is false negative in cases of cholecystoma which covers the side of the fistula and that not allows the pressure changes to be transmitted to the labyrinth. See, remember the cholecystoma is nothing but like an obstruction in the external auditory canal near the tympanic membrane which does not allow the pressure changes to be transmitted into the inner ear. So in these cases also, you can note a false negative fistula test. And the fistula test is false positive in cases of congenital syphilis due to hypermobile stapes foot plate which causes mobility into the labyrinth by which the fistula test comes positive in the manias disease due to fibrous bands which connect the uticular macula to the stapes foot plate in these both conditions movement of the stapes bone or the stapes foot plate results in stimulation of the uticular macula which leads to the stimulation of the labyrinth that gives false positive fistula test. So guys, this is all about the fistula test. It is the main important test in assessment of the vestibular functions of the ear. And the basis of this test is to induce nystagmus by producing pressure changes in the external ear. And these pressure changes will go and transmit by the middle ear into the inner ear that is to the labyrinth. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and do check on my recent videos and playlists.